as well. And of course, Semper Vivi had a show last night with Filthy Tom. Then he broke the RSS feed, but no, I didn't can't win them all. No, Get I didn't. Out of here. My show was Get up there here. fine. What happened to your show? Yeah, your show goes up and then it breaks. That's what happens. Because whoever, so whoever was up last before it breaks awesome. is the person that broke it. Whatever. You lies. Everything's no. Fine. Your show made it to the front page before mine did. Bro. No problem there, right? Well, yes, yeah, spider. That's different. Where are you going? That's different than RSS. What are you doing here? This is from this is from Admin Tony here. What? It was Semp. Oh yeah, I'm gonna believe him, right? We gotta trust well, Admin yeah. Tony, who's he's on your one payroll. That, he's the one that repairs the RSS when it breaks, so he can <laughs> tell me who who busted it. Anyway, Let's get Jared after drawing its first. lowest viewership total on Fox last week, which can be somewhat excused by the 4th of July holiday. Overnight totals for this Friday's SmackDown up 7.2%, averaging 1.905 million viewers. Show opened up with 1.93 million, dropped 3% to 1.879 million in hour two. It was the lowest total on Fox that SmackDown has done since premiering in October. SmackDown averaged a .2 at 18 to 34. However, 18 to 49 was up 25% to a point five, matching what SmackDown had done every week over the previous month before the record low on July 3rd. Demo numbers first on network TV in both categories. Although SmackDown tied with several other shows in 18 to 34, most other shows in reruns. SmackDown the only show to get a point five. NBC and ABC coming closest with a point four. That show on Friday was the biggest waste of my time. And I don't even know how long. Just a nothing happening, two hours of filler at best, a karaoke contest with the women that was one of those designed to be train wreck television segments, a tag title match that ended in a double DQ when it broke down into a four way, which we see in every tag team match ever. This weekend was a DQ. It's one of those shows where I understand that, like, there's things I don't like and the WWE fans defend it and everything like that. But, bro, who could defend this show? Seriously. Then this Monday, in an attempt to garner ratings, a night of grudges. We have got Sasha and Bailey versus Asuka and Kyrie Sane. Randy Orton versus R-Truth here at a night of grudges. Like, am I incorrect, or the last time we saw them were ninjas chasing truth, and Randy Orton directed them a different direction and saved our truth? Did that not happen? That happened. We've also got Andrade and Angel Garza versus the Viking Raiders in an elimination tag match. Don't even ask me why. And Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens, which would be a WrestleMania rematch so that's raw everybody get ready for that 